Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 4, Lesson 5, Problem Set. Um, you see our lesson summary here. Uh, it's going to tell us exponential notation for whole numbers. Uh, really recommend you take an, a quick look through this to see uh, what these different pieces are called. So the A in this uh, equation um, is the base, and the M is the exponent, meaning how many times you're going to multiply the base, A, by itself. Um, so we really want to keep that in mind when we start looking ahead to some of these questions. So we'll take a look first at problem set number one. Complete the table by filling in the blank cells. Use a calculator when needed. Uh, that using a calculator when needed, uh, be sure to check with your teacher to make sure that you're using those calculators as well. So I'll do a few of these uh, with you, and I'm going to do them kind of long, uh, drawn out, so meaning I'll show my work as I go across. So exponential form just means there's going to be an exponent uh, shown, and if we look at 3 to the 5th power or 3 to the power of 5, there's an exponent there. Expanded form is just writing the exponential form out to show what problem we are going to be solving. And it's probably and it's going to be an expression in this case. So I have a base of three and an exponent of five, meaning I'm going to multiply three by itself five times. So that's three to the fifth power. Notice it's multiplication and not addition. That's what the exponent is telling us that it's multiplication and not repeated addition. For standard form, this is just number form. And it always indicates solving. So I'm actually going to multiply by uh, my 3, 5, uh, by itself 5 different times. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. I tend to break these apart and pick. So 3 times 3 is 9. I know 9 times 9 is 81 but I still have that 3 left. So now I'm really only doing 81 times 3 instead of trying to do it all the way across. And that's going to get me 243. So that's my standard form, is just solving it out. That's where you might use a calculator, um, but your teacher might not, depending on uh, which questions you're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to take a look now. Uh, I'll do the first part of the second one, and then I want to take a look at the fourth one in this section. So 4 times 4 times 4. The number that you see or the number that is multiplying by itself is the base. That's your bigger number, the base. That's the number that's going to be used to multiply by itself. The number of times that it shows up, I see is 3. That's the exponent. That's the number of times that we multiply the base by itself. So that's where we're getting the 3 from, how many 4s there are multiplied together and then the 4 is going to be my base and notice the multiplication signs they have little the X's in there the multiplication symbol I use dots up above either way is going to work for my standard form I would just multiply that out now looking down at the fourth one we see that we have one or one half to the fifth power meaning one half times itself five times. So I know that all these ones across the top, one times one times one times one times one is going to give me one. Because anything times one and gets itself. Now, this is not two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm not uh, adding by two each time. I'm multiplying. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. And 16 times 2 is 32. And notice I did a little bit different of a strategy than up above because there's multiple ways to do this. So that's going to get me 1 32nd. That's my standard form for it. So now let's take a look uh, real quickly at number 3. 
the powers of 2 that are in the range 2 through 1,000 are 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, and 512. Find all the powers of 3 in that range, um, 3 through 1,000. These are exponents. So 2 to the first is 2. 2 to the second is 4. 2 to the third is 8. 2 to the fourth is 16. 2 to the fifth is 32. 2 to the sixth, 2 to the seventh, 2 to the eighth, 2 to the ninth. So that's how we're figuring this out. And this is where a calculator might come into play uh, to help out a little bit more of these exponents. Um, if I wanted to do 3, I know 3 to the first is 3. 3 to the second is 9. 3 to the third uh, is 27, and so on. I would do that until I get a number below 1,000 or at 1,000 but not above. And that's where you're listing these numbers. So that's what you'll do uh, for that question. And then if you're doing number four, it's just four to the first, four to the second, four to the third. Uh, we'll take a look at six, because six is a nice uh, question that we can take a look at. Uh, write an equivalent expression for w to the b using only multiplication. Uh, it means w times w times w. Do we know how many times? No. So I'm going to put a dot, 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 and I'm labeling this b times. And I could even take a look up here. This is really what we're looking at. Uh, it's the same exact thing. Now, the bigger part is the explain what W is in the new expression. Uh, w is the base, and we know the base is uh, how many times, or the number being multiplied by itself. That's what the base is. Explain what B is in the new expression. B is the uh, exponent, and in the new expression, it's the number of times we're multiplying the base by itself. So we know up above uh, b is the exponent, but when we explain what it is in the new expression, it's the number of times that we multiply the base by itself. And then the last part, the difference between 4x and x to the fourth. Uh, if I show 4x, it means 4x's. And notice I'm adding those because I know multiplication is the same as repeated addition, where they work well together. X to the fourth means X times itself four times. So they look very similar. One's multiplication, one's addition, because of the exponent compared to just your multiplication here. I uh, hope this helps, and good luck on your homework.